if you have one of these multimeters that are very affordable and it's not working, don't throw it out or buy a new one. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. A lot of times it's just the battery because they're very cheap, so they put like cheap batteries. So I'm gonna show you how to replace it. Look, not working. Okay, you're just gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Turn it around and remove these two screws right here. Okay, then you're gonna need a nine volt battery. I bought this at the dollar, so instead of buying another one for like ten dollars a half rate, I'd rather buy a dollar battery and fix it. So after you take the screws out, so here it is. Just take it out, then we're gonna remove the battery. Careful. Make sure you check positive go to this side. So, sorry guys, with one hand it's kind of difficult. Let me put the phone down. There we go. So this is positive and this is negative. And go put it again oh shit I'm gonna have to put the phone down again guys but very simple positive and negative look like this just put it in again and just put everything back there we go Now it's on. That's it. Put the screws again, and there you have it. Fixed. And you only spent one dollar.